the diagram above of um, oh, it's 2004 AP Physics B exam. The diagram above of pressure P versus the volume shows the expansion of two mole of monatomic ga ideal gas from um, remember make sure you review what um, ideal gas uh, criteria are before the AP exam from state A to state B as shown in the diagram PA is equal to PV and equals to 600 newtons per meter squared of Pascal so Pascal is newtons per meter squared and the volume of A is 3 meter cubic and the volume of B is 9 meter cubic calculate the work done by the gas as it expands so the work The work is equal to, and then let me just buy the gas. This is very important. Do you see they even highlighted this part, buy the gas? So when they say buy the gas, it's the gas on the environment. So you have work is done, uh, pressure, change of the volume, and the pressure is 600. And the change of the volume is 9 minus 3. So I have 3600 joules. This is negative work on the gas because gas is expanding, so it's losing its internal energy when it expands. But it does the positive work on the environment because it compresses the environment, it compresses the outside. So because they said it's by the gas, means by the gas on the environment, the number is going to stay positive. For the second part on A, they ask you to calculate the change in internal energy of the gas as it expands. So the change of internal gas of the change of internal energy has a formula of three halves and R delta T. But I do not know by how much the temperature changes when it goes from point A to point B. So I have to calculate the temperature at A, and then I will have to calculate the temperature of B. So um, I will do PV is equal to NRT for A. So the pressure is 600. Um, the volume is 3. and equals to N R the ideal gas constant or just the gas, gas constant and the temperature is the one that I'm looking for so T is equal to and that gives me 108.3 Kelvin and the same I'm going to do for point B. I have PV is equal to NRT. So P is still 600. V is um, 9. N equals to N R and T at B. So this was T at A. This one is T at B. So T B in this case is going to be equal to 325 Kelvin. So I'm going to round the first one to 108 Kelvin and the last one is 325 Kelvin for my future calculations. Um, so now I'm going to plug them in into my uh, change of internal energy of the gas. So U is equal to uh, 3 halves N R and the temperature change is 325 minus 108 and that gives me 5000 5000 400, almost 10 joules. So 
So the last part in A says calculate the heat added or removed from the gas during this expansion. I cleaned a little bit space for myself and um, wrote for you everything we found so far so we can use it as a reference. So if I want to calculate how much heat was added or removed, I have to use uh, the first law of thermodynamics, um, which is delta U. Oops, is delta U. Change of the energy depends on the heat added or taken away from the system minus the work done by the gas or on the gas. Um, I usually do not like to think about this number to be positive or negative, and usually when I teach it in the classroom, I tell my students never put a positive or a negative, depending on what which book you are reading, they will give you positive or negative sign right here. Always think about what is happening to the gas and plug in the number depending on what, how that affects the energy. So in our case, um, the uh, internal energy was positive number, which is for um, 5,400. So I have 5,410 joules of energy. Heat is the part I'm looking for. And the gas expanded. So the work was done on the gas is negative, but the work done by the gas was positive. So right here, I have to plug in a negative number, 3,600. And then that gives you that the heat is equal to um, 910, positive 9,010 9, joules. So the key um, in this part right here is that you have to choose which sign you plug in when you plug in your uh, work. If the gas expanded, then it's negative work done on the gas, but positive on the environment. But you're talking about the change of the energy of the gas. So you have to think about the work done on the gas when you plug in this number. For B part, um, the pressure is then reduced to 200 Newton per meter squared or 200 Pascal without changing the volume as the gas is taken from state B to state C. Label state C on the diagram and draw a line or curve to represent the process from B to C. So I will have to go back here and new pressure is 200, but the volume stays the same. So I need to draw the process going from here to here and this is C. So it's from A to B and now from B to C. And then going back to above problem. So all we had to do is label nothing else they ask you to do here. And then let's see what is asked to do in C. The gas is then compressed isothermally back to state A. So it looks like now we have to go from C to A. And if you remember the graph for isothermal looks like this. So this is isothermal compression. So this is delta T is equal to zero. This one is delta V is equal to zero. So this was um, isovolumetric. This was delta P is equal to zero. That was um, isobaric. And this is isothermal. The last one from C to A is isothermal. The gas is then compressed isothermally back to state A. Draw the line on the curve in the diagram to represent this process. Is heat added or removed from the gas during this isothermal expression, compression. Let me do something interesting here. I'm going to calculate another temperature right here at C. So I'm going to have PV. So I'm using the same formula that I used earlier. So this formula, PV is equal to nRT. So my P is 200. Um, the V is 9 and equals to N. R 
and I'm gonna find the temperature at point C. And just as expected, TC, TC is 108. So if they don't tell you if it is isothermal process or not, and you have to find out what kind of process when it, it um, goes back to point A, you can always do this type of calculations and see that it is um, isothermal process. So going back to our question. <laughs> Because it is isothermal process, so delta T is equal to zero, and internal energy is equal to zero, or change of internal energy is equal to zero, not internal energy is equal to zero. And you have um, delta U is equal to Q, and in this case, you, you compress the gas, so the work done on the gas is gonna be positive. This part is zero. You have Q plus the work done on the gas, in this case positive. So it looks like um, heat is taken out of the system. So here it's um, removed from the system.